This screencast will show you how to look at your comments in D2L. First, click on the Dropbox. When the Dropbox grid loads, you'll see a history of the submissions that you've put in, the feedback if there is any available, the date that, you, that the file um, was due, and then a score if there is one available to you. A numerical score doesn't tell you very much, so you need to look at the comments that your instructor made. Click on the number in the submissions column and you'll be able to see a history of what you've done. You'll see the title of the file that you uploaded, or the file name. You'll see a report icon and a corresponding color. You'll see any comments that you uploaded for your instructor, and you'll see the date that you submitted the file. Click on the report icon. You may be asked to, um, to agree to some terms of use through Turnitin. If you're okay with those terms of use, click OK, and this screen will load that shows you an originality report. It shows that there's a 60% similarity between this file and something that was either indexed from the Open Access Internet, from the library's databases and indexes, or from a database of sample student papers. In this case, I've got this big paragraph in the middle that appears to come from this source. And if I click the number next to it, I can see what the original source said. That's bad news, and I'm probably going to need to talk to my instructor about that. But I also want to see what her comments were. In order to view those comments, click on Grademark. You'll see that this button is highlighted blue, and that means that the grade mark feature is active, and you can take a look at the comments. Any place where there's a blue bubble, you can hover over the comment to see what it was, read up on it, and then if you have questions, you can ask your instructor. The first comment is about formatting, the second comment is about a missing quotation, and this third comment is about needing a citation here for the quotation itself. Finally, at the end, there's an overall comment I can read through those and then make some mental notes about what I need to talk to my instructor about. Going back to the folder list, in the grid I mentioned that there was some other feedback available in addition to this numerical score. I'm going to click on this um, view feedback icon. and it's going to give me some information about my paper, or some additional information. When the instructor put that feedback in, and then what the instructor wanted me to do. So that's how to view your comments, and I hope that was a useful introduction.